Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wow Crandor and welcome back to more Vanilla WoW stories. Today, I wanted to talk about pretty much what I used to do to try and make money. Um, so in the last episode of Vanilla WoW stories, I was mentioning how I wanted to farm Blade of the Basilisk, Basilisk to try and get mount money. Well, uh, once I was, uh, you know, far later in my World of Warcraft journey, uh, I needed epic mount money, and one of the ways I tried to do it was my alt, which was this character, which was my warrior, who is now my main uh, in BFA, but uh, back then he was just a warrior alt I made for PvPing and having some fun on. So, what I used to do was, well, currently he's a uh, mining engineer, mining engineer, but I used to be mining herbalism. I only dropped herbalism to get engineering so I could farm mounts. That's really it. Uh, <laughs> but back in the day, he was mining herbalism. And what I would do was up here in winter spring, we had a path. We, well, I had a path. I guess me and my character had a path we planned out um, where we would just fly around and get thorium veins. And so um, thorium would drop, what was it? Thorium veins, uh, 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 what's that crystal thing it drops? Hold on, I'm looking it up right now. It was arcane crystals. So thorium, uh, veins had a chance to drop arcane crystals, which I believe were the ones that sold for the most. Uh, and then there's some other stuff you could get, uh, but then you just get thorium ore and you would just go sell that on the auction house. But the reason um, I specifically have this area was this was one of the best areas to get thorium at. And then if you go south a little bit down to Azshara before it looked like it does now with goblins having taken over, um, I would fly down to Azshara and I would do a bunch of herbalism uh, paths, I guess you would call them, where you know, I would go down, I'd do up, and then like up, and then I'd go back up to winter spring, and then I'd go back, and I'd just keep doing this over and over. Uh, so it was a much more productive way to waste time, <laughs> as opposed to running around Orgrimmar on top of the bank. Uh, and then of course where we're at right now used to be, was it where Kazak was? Somebody used to, well, some demon lord used to be here. I think it was for the hunter quest, right? For the winter spring uh, hunter quest, or was that more over here? I know there was some sort of hunter quest for the the hunter staff or bow or whatever it was uh, around there. But either way, <laughs> I was a priest. I got my uh, benediction, still have my benediction, as you have probably seen. I think I showed it off in a video. Um, and if not, I will have to. Uh, but down here, uh, as you can see... Uh, oh no, I did. I think it was in my... Uh, what's in my... Vanilla WoW Bank or something. I think that's when I showed it off. Either way, I used to come down here and I'd gather a bunch of herbs. And I think some of the main herbs I would get were Dream Foil. Uh, what were the other one? Azshara Herbs. Let's see. Dream Foil. Uh, what else was here? Mountain Silver Sage. Oh my god. Golden Sansom. Sansam? Sansom? Sungrass. Purple Lotus. Kagar's Whiskers. Gold Thorn. And strangle kelp, I guess, if you want to go into the ocean. But, oh my god, just even flying here brings back these memories. It's it's another one of these weird nostalgic things where, like, this wasn't the most fun thing to do, right? But it was something to do to pass the time, and it was profitable. So it made me money, and it was working towards getting my epic mount. And I think what I remember most um, through all of this was just how hard it was to get your epic mount, right? I've made a video about uh, getting my epic mount as well and all that, but um, just it was just so different because now it's like everybody's got epic mounts, right? Like if you don't have an epic mount, it's like, what are you doing? But back then it was like you either had a mount or you had an epic mount and having an epic mount was like, oh my God, dude. I think that's, that's what I'm so excited about too for Vanilla WoW and Classic WoW coming back is just seeing how many people actually can get epic mounts? Who's going to get epic mounts? Um, how long it'll take to get epic mounts? Even just mounts in general. I'm, I'm just curious to see uh, how gold uh, making is going to go. Because 
I kind of want to try this again. I kind of want to, you know, have a character that can do mining herbalism and go back and forth. But at the same time, it took forever. It didn't work that great. So I'm sure there's some better options. Maybe I'll get lucky and get some, you know, Crusader enchants or something, but... Or a really good drop or a BOE, like the Staff of Jordan, the Cell on the AH, but... Uh, outside of that, I don't know. But I'm excited. Uh, and... It's... <laughs> it's another thing, like... Uh, last episode, how I was like, for, I don't know why, but I just have nostalgia about the Shimmering Flats, even though it wasn't that exciting. It's kind of the same thing here, where flying around, gathering these herbs... Uh, and these thorium veins was not the most exciting thing, but it's still always in my memory, and it's in my memory so, um, I want to say, like, I was going to say securely. That doesn't make any sense. Um, such a dominant memory in my brain that it, it, it's, I don't know why it's such a feel-good memory, too. Like, oh, man, I used to... I think part of it's because I love aesthetics and uh, environments, so when it used to be Azshara, just, you know, how this all looks, not without the goblin race rays, raceways and all that shit, um, I think it was just a much more peaceful zone. So you would go between almost like fall and winter, essentially, from Azshara up to winter spring. Um, and I really liked how the seasons would change, even the zone transition, like you got the the waterfall over here with the the snow melting and falling down as water of a waterfall into Azshara into the ocean. Um, I think that's why I enjoy it so much. I always preach how much I love the the aesthetics and the environment of World of Warcraft, and I think that cartoony vibe of the game actually keeps uh, a lot of those old zones still looking pretty good. And of course, they can look better. You know, I mean, if we go over to um, Arathi Highlands, for example. New Arathi Highlands is... It looks a lot better than the old one. I wish they could do that to all the old zones. But at the same time, I still enjoy the old zones, right? I still think they look fine. Like, maybe they're dated, but the cartoony graphics of the zones still keep them not looking like you're gonna play uh, some game from like 2000 some other like go just go play another game from the early 2000s you'll be like oh my god this looks terrible like that's how well a lot of world warcraft is aged it's really good um sure somebody will be like ah, there. <laughs> there's always gonna be a person right that's what that's one thing you learn on the internet no matter what it is there's always gonna be at least one person that just disagrees with whatever it is but uh, it is what it is so that's my uh, little story of how I tried to make money by farming herbs in Azshara and Thorium in Winter Spring and just flying back and forth. And honestly, it's not even the way I got my epic mount. It was some of the money I got towards it, but the way I got it was, uh, well, if you want to hear the story, it's, it's in my other video. I can link to that at the end of this video. Um, either way, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And... Again, if you got any stories you want me to tell from Vanilla Wow, leave a comment in the comment section below. Be like, Crendor, I want you to talk about this. So I want you to talk about that. Uh, I've written some of the past ones down that you've recommended. So I'm definitely going to make some stories about that. I know Tanaris uh, is one of the places I wanted to talk about. So I've already talked about Shimmering Flats. Feralus is one. Um, not, <laughs> don't really want to talk about Silithus that much. Uh... I mean, shh, just looking around. Even, oh my god, I've got some Moonglade stories. I mean, we can talk about Moonglade. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and I'm sure there's a... What was the other one? Uh, Lockmodon, I've got a few. I've got some... Uh, I feel like I'm in a store. Like, yeah, I've got a couple of Lockmodons. I've got an Eastern Plague Lane. Uh, you know, what are you looking for? What are you looking for out here? Dark Moon Fair? Just uh, tell me what you need. Um... So yeah, just let me know, uh, and I will try to make that happen, and yeah, okay, okay. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to ask, um, how did you make your money? That's, oh my god, oh yeah, look at this, this is like a bear, I never even noticed this, or it's a furbolg, it's either a furbolg or a bear, um, and you go into the cave, because I always, whenever I'd go into it, right, you'd always usually come out of it and be like, oh, but then I realized it was a bear. Um, 
how did you make your money for your mount? Or just make money in Vanilla WoW in general, right? Uh, like, there was obviously trying to get rare items, or there was using your professions, trying to play the auction house. How did you make your money? Uh, leave that comment in the comment section below if you don't really care about recommending something for me to talk about. So either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya!